Thank you for watching another episode of the Logan Tyler Nelson Show, where in this episode, I'm going to show you exactly how to get rid of those fears. Get out of here. Get out of here, fears. It's not working. Just go. Why are you just sitting there, staring at the page like that? Start writing. Just do it. Uh, yeah. Yes, I, I love to stop writing. I, I, I'm just scared. I, I'm, I'm a little scared about writing. What are you scared about? Just write. Um, uh, yes, it's much easier s said than done. All right, Harry, let's talk about this now. What are you scared about? Really, what exactly are you scared about? What if what I write about is done? Um. What if I write about something that's stupid and dumb, and people make fun of me? Uh, what if what I write about is stupid and dumb, and people stop making fun of me? Sure. So, you're telling me you want to just sit there and do nothing, say nothing, and be nothing? I... I suppose you're right. It... It just, it scares the blazes out of me to write something stupid and be made fun of. Well, uh, I, I suppose you're right. Uh, no pun intended, but you're right. Look, all I'm saying is that thinking about doing something is more hurtful than just taking action and doing it. Wow. Sheesh. I wish Chris Hemsworth was my friend. God. <laughs> that guy knows a thing or two. I mean, but... It's true in a way, and I know it's a, I know it's a little lousy for Chris Hemsworth to just say, you know, a few things like, you know, say nothing, be nothing. What a cliche, but it's true. If you're scared about writing your book, don't. Just don't. Don't. Think about why you're scared. Really break it down. So if you're scared about people. That are going to make fun of you. Break it down. So the first thing is break it down. I'll say it again. Break it down. Why am I scared about writing a book? Because I'm scared about what people are going to say to me. What am I scared that people are going to say? That I'm stupid. That I'm an idiot. That I copied someone. Great. Guess what? No one's created anything. Everything's been redone. Even Shakespeare stole plots. Okay, so I guess I'm not scared about copying, but I'm really scared about the time and commitment and then the payoff. <laughs> if you're worried about the payoff and you're really doing this for money, then think again. I mean, you're really doing it because you have a deep yearning inside of you that wants to write a book and get your thoughts out there. Okay, so the second point I want to talk about is being in the moment. If you're not in the moment, you're going to have fear all day. If you're constantly thinking about how something's going to go, if you got a, a speech later today, say you got this crazy speech like about, oh, you're, th you're going to talk about how your new business plan can shape education to work for its children against, instead of against its children. But you're worried about what people are going to say because it's totally innovative. And when people hear something new, they kind of freak out a little bit. Okay, so you're going to go to that meeting and you're going to be in the moment and you're going to rehearse that meeting so much that being in the moment is easy for you. And when you, you rehearse something enough, it becomes habit. So you don't even think about it. You're, you're like, you're like freaking, you're like Ali who said... Plans work great, but when someone punches you in the face, you got to keep on going. And so he rehearsed these punches and these, these bouts, and he did these exercises that no matter what, even when he got punched in the face, he still knew what instinctually was going to be the correct move for the next move. So he was there. He was in the ring. You know, Ali, uh, thanks for showing us, man, but... Seriously, thank you for joining us, but we don't need you right now. Can this is my video? Right. I'm sorry, Ali. Right, he's gone now. 
All right, and number three to getting rid of your fears is cut off the crap. Oh, I know. That's a little stinky. Yeah, just get that crap out of here. Seriously, though, get going with thinking more positively. What are you filling your brain with? We need someone to say, like Chris Hemsworth said, hey, you can do it. Just bring it. Just right. The best thing for you to do is start. We need someone to be our heroes. We need that inspiration. I want you to stop for one day listening or consuming, like watching TV stuff that's not dealing with the goal that you want from that day. So like if, if your goal is to write or if your goal is to maybe act something, or if your goal is to, to, to take a great piece and actually start drawing again for the first time in 10 years. I want you to only consume things that inspire you for just that day. So when it comes time to actually practice your art or maybe do that speech that day, you're ready. All right, last but not least, love yourself. You gotta love yourself to get rid of your fears. You've got to say, I'm enough. That's why I always say at the end of my videos, you guys are enough. Because when you don't do that, when you don't say you're enough and you think someone else out there is better than you and they might as well just do the job because, you know, of course, you know, you're not most suited for the job. Just go out there and try your best at doing the idea that you have in your head because you're gonna love yourself so much for just trying failing is the best thing in the world when you fail you learn something you just go out there and you put it all on the line and you make someone angry guess what you energize them you made them do something that they cared about and that's a way to get rid of your fears stop worrying about what other people will do and start just loving yourself and I promise these tips will make you get rid of your fear and also make you start loving your fear so guys thank you so much for watching these videos I really appreciate it mm -hmm. I do I seriously do so please like please subscribe let me know if you're working anything in your life that you're scared about and I would love if you connected on my Facebook, my Twitter, or my Instagram. And, all right, you guys are always enough. Take, catch you until next time. All right, that was really cheesy. I just want to do this kind of half, half right. Uh, you guys are enough, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>